Here's the true test. If it's not level, I don't care. today's vlog. It is Thursday, August 12th. It's also about 11 o'clock in the morning and I just made breakfast for myself. The same old, same old toast and eggs. I'm getting such a late start on today because on Thursdays and now Fridays, Griffin has off. So he's the one that has to like get up and get little miss up, take on a walk, do all that kind of stuff. So I got to sleep in. It felt great. I take care of little miss every other morning except for Thursdays and Fridays. So Griffin gets to like sleep in and get ready for work and all that kind of stuff. So his two days off, he gets up and handles her. It's a great system we got here, but I have a very busy day and I always say this because it always is, but I essentially need to film three videos today. One of which is this vlog. The other of which I should have filmed like three days ago, but didn't get a chance to. And then the last one I should have filmed yesterday and didn't get a chance to. And so here we are. Now half of me thinks I'm not going to get everything done just because I haven't been. But the other half of me is like, do not let that happen. I just need to make it a priority today to stay on task, to not get distracted, to not sit for hours on TikTok, just get my work done. Cause I have so much to do and I don't want to fall too far behind. Outside of my work to do list, I really want to start decorating today. Since Griffin is off, he can help me hang a lot of the stuff that I don't want to hang because he's better at that stuff than me. So we'll see if we definitely have time to get that done in today's vlog. If not, we'll try to do it tomorrow because he also has tomorrow off. I really want this place to feel like home and it doesn't yet because we haven't decorated. But I am filming today a very, very exciting video, which I think you guys are going to love. These guys are obsessed with all things like Freya or dog related videos. So I'm doing basically an updated dog haul of everything that we have bought Freya since she was like a puppy. So our first like dog haul before we even got her like eight weeks. That was the last like haul that I've done. I've obviously shown you a few things here and there on like my Instagram stories or in past videos and stuff. But there's a lot of things that I've gotten that I haven't like hauled and you guys have been wanting another like dog haul video. So we're just gonna pile everything in and I'm gonna show you guys everything that we've bought for her since getting her. And then I was thinking about just in future doing like a monthly dog haul kind of thing. Like how I do with what I bought this month, like what worked, what didn't. I can either include all the dog stuff in those videos or just make a separate dog video. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any preferences. But in order to do that, I'm gonna finish my breakfast and while I'm eating, I'm actually gonna watch that dog haul video, my puppy haul, because I don't remember exactly like what was like puppy bought versus post getting her bought. So I wanna freshen up on that so that way I know what I've already hauled for you guys. This is some of the aftermath of doing the dog haul video. We talked about all the new things that I've gotten her, a lot of like collars and leashes and stuff like that, water bottles, all the fun stuff. So of course that's another video, y'all can go watch that, but now I have to clean up. <laughs> Also, yes, we do have a shower caddy on the back of our front door to hold all of her things, like all of her collars, bandanas, and leashes, and dog tags and stuff, because we're currently on the market. We went to Ikea a while ago, and a couple vlogs ago, trying to find storage for like this big wall here, because there's just nothing. And so we want some sort of like a unit here to like hold things, have like cabinets or drawers or something like that, so we can put Freya's stuff in there, and like some of her toys, or just like things, because we have too many things. But for now, we don't have anywhere to put this stuff, so it's on the back of our front door. Using an old shower caddy for our old apartment that we don't use anymore. And before anybody asks, I tried it on this door. It doesn't close all the way. I tried it on the door to like our washer and dryer. Door doesn't close all the way. So this was the only door <laughs> that it would actually close it. So that's why it's on the front door. Because I would have preferred it to be on like the inside here and hanging here where no one could see it, but it didn't fit. So we're left with that. It is game time, baby. We got the tools out. We have a whole pile of things that need to be hung up somewhere. And we're gonna start with the decorating in the living room because this is where we spend the most of our time and this corner has just been taken over by all the things we need to hang up for a long time now. We're gonna start with these corner shelves. We had these at our old place, but we actually bought two of them when we bought them. Only hung up one, so we threw away like the other ones because it just would have been too hard to like re-hang them. But right now we're trying to decide which corner these should go in because we're thinking we want to put like a bar cart-ish area a here. It's a howdah. It's called a howdah. From Ikea, potentially. <laughs> So we don't know if we want them here because that might be like just too much here. So we have this corner. However, there's a lamp there. We can, that's easily movable. Let's not let that gate keep us here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, we can move it. Or we have that corner above Freya's stuff. I feel like Freya will somehow find a way to break that. <laughs> Somehow. I don't disagree. My first choice isn't to have it above Freya's stuff, but the thought though is that this won't be Freya's stuff forever. So I don't know. Do we just want to play it safe and put it next to the TV? That corner. Cool. Where do we want this to go? I mean, that could go in your office. Well, it's gonna go right here for now. Mm -hmm. 
voila, new shelves, they look great. We're gonna like style everything at the very end. We have this picture of Kitty. Griffin's mom painted this one of Freya too. We'll be getting that in like a month or two. Yeah, we're, we don't have that one yet. She's using it at like her farmer's market display and stuff because everybody loves Freya and Kitty. <laughs> Sold sticker so people stop asking to buy it. Literally, yeah, she had to put a sold sticker on Kitty because people kept wanting to buy her. Because she's so cute. But how do you want to hang them up? Like, what are you thinking? Do we want them like next to each other on the same wall, like above each other, or like side by side, or like? I would do side by side. Because I was thinking like that big wall. If we put them both like centered on that wall. Yeah. Kitty's gonna have to be off center for a while until we get to Freya. So we'll do like boom, boom. I would have Freya on this side and then Kitty on that side, but then like centered. Tape measure is over here. So we have 219 total. The canvas is 30 inches. So 219, let's see, divided by 30 is 7.3. What's the halfway point? 219 divided by two is 109.5. And then the halfway point of that is 54.75. So we can either hang it on like the two halfway points or we can hang them on like these halfway points. Do you have a preference? We could do like a foot off center each way. Okay, so just like bam, hang, bam, hang. Yeah. I think four feet in between them would look good. Well, like this is the halfway point. So yeah, we would have one hanging here and one hanging here. Camera. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> look at her. She's so pretty. A little more to the left. She looks so cute. The love of my life. Next up, diplomas. That's like the hardest one. No, it's not. That's the easiest one. Ow. We're thinking that the diplomas will go on this wall because it leads into the office and I feel like decent place for them. I've shown this in a couple different vlogs, but here's my hack for hanging up pictures. That has never failed me because I'm bad at math. You're going to take your tape and you're going to line it up on the back so that way it goes over the holes that needs to be hung by. And then you're just going to mark where the hole is and then you can take it off because this piece of tape is the exact length of the picture you're trying to hang. And the marks on the tape is exactly where you're going to nail this into the wall. So all you have to do is place this on the wall and make sure it's level. I just kind of put one edge down so that way I can make sure it's level because usually I'm doing this by myself. Bam, there you go. Mm. Here's the true test. If it's not level, I don't care. <laughs> good enough, it's in the it's in between the lines. It's good. That's good. So we still have all of these. Yeah. I don't know if we have any room in the kitchen. Like there's no wall in the kitchen like at our old place. And I don't think this is big enough. Is it? Uh, it is actually. Oh, well there we go. I mean, it does fit like perfectly. Sorry, it's really bright because these lights are here, but I think we should hang it there. Yay! Looks good. Another one down. Now for this. Griffin's map of Argentina. We're gonna put it on this wall. Are you trying to center it with the light switch or center it with the wall? Like I want someone to make a perfectly symmetrical home for me because this kind of stuff just like grinds my gears. Why wouldn't the light switch be centered in the wall? So that way when I hang something, it's centered on everything. Because if you guys can tell, even with our windows, like this little piece is smaller than this piece. Why would they put three windows in a room and not make them evenly spaced? Ah, old faithful. This has said send nudes for like a year. <laughs> and we're gonna put it right here by the front door. To gain entry, everyone must provide me with nudes in pasta form. So everyone must bring me pasta before you come over. Wow, how fun. Next, the other old faithful, Royal Kitty. <laughs> she was above like her little like food dishes at the old apartment and she has an area for her food dishes again. So she will go right here. Kitty will always have a shrine wherever we go. A lot of these are for the office, which we will get to. I think the rest of these are. Oh wait, no, our things for the bedroom. We have to hang these up. choice on the waterfall. It's fucking difficult. I know. <laughs> that was okay, way too much major. math. We have two liberal arts majors. Trying to do math. math. But it does look good. It ended up good. That's all that matters. 